Kia is currently spitting out new concepts, and we have the EV5 concept that was just unveiled today. And I'm noticing something huge here with Kia. I actually think they are working on an entirely new design language based on the EV9 and the EV5 here. And they say, of course, that this is a concept, but looking at the design of this thing, it's clear that if the EV9 concept looked close to production ready, I think this concept looked even closer than that based on specifically the tail lights. We're gonna have a look at that in just a second. So. What is car and driver saying about this concept here? EV crossover shares its blocky modern styling with EV9. Obviously, it looks like a mini EV9. And they haven't denounced any plans for the US. But as they say here as well, this is most likely coming over here eventually. It is going to launch in China, I guess. But then in a couple of years, we're going to see it here as well. I'm pretty sure about that. The EV EV5 name also suggests that it will slot in between the EV6 makes sense and multiple battery pack options and single and dual motor configurations will be offered sweet so we have all-wheel drive and probably i guess front wheel drive or maybe only rear wheel drive are they gonna go sporty with the rear wheel drive single engine or be boring and safe with the front wheel drive i guess that remains to be seen so that's pretty much what we know so far about the kia ev5 but who cares about the spec and tech at this point we don't have a lot of spec and tech anyway so let's jump into photoshop let's have a look at this design i panicked a little bit uh when i first saw this car because every time i see any new kia you know what i'm going for i'm i'm desperately looking for the uh, tiger nose where is it what did they do did they forget to implement it here i i can't still See the tiger nose. I have the EV9 down at the bottom. And you can clearly see the tiger nose here with with this uh, graphic going and uh, connecting in the middle, creating the legendary tiger nose introduced in, I think, 2006 or seven with Kia. And they've implemented it ever since for a strong brand identity. However, I don't know. Can you tell me where the tiger nose is in this design is it this piece here that sticks up in the middle here in combination with this dip in the middle here i'm not entirely sure overall though we're, let's uh, try to forget that we don't have a tiger nose in a brand new kia which is huge news and it further emphasizes my idea that I think Kia might be uh, moving away from the Tiger Nose and implementing this new, almost uh, digital uh, feel for the design and the sharp edges that we have here. But I think it's a cool looking design. Is it emotional? Is it automotive? Not really. It feels way more uh, like an industrial design or a product design with these uh, angles that we have going all over the car. Pretty much same feeling in the EV9, but they're still, I think they're still, they still look cool for some reason, uh, even though it doesn't really have this emotional uh, that's lacking in a lot of brands these days. We're moving away from automotive design and turning it into product consumer electronics uh, that doesn't have the same. Uh, face or, or expressions that, are, that that I'm used to seeing in car design. I mean, just look at this front face here. D does it tell you any emotion when you look at the front face? To me, I can't even see where the eyes and the nose and the mouth is anymore. And that's what we're going into in a lot of different uh, brands, not just Kia. So let's have a look at the side view here. This area, when I first saw this, I thought it was a Volvo. Like, honestly, I thought it was a XC40. Uh, uh, maybe a, a like an EV, new EV from Volvo, Polestar or something like that, with this specific line here and this treatment of the, what is this, A, B, C, D pillar. This is very product designy and very, in my opinion, very Scandinavian design when it comes to that specific area. And then you have that in combination with this light here, which also feels a little Volvo-ish to me. But I do like that we have a bunch of sharp lines here that kind of goes into a smoother section of the body. And then we have this more dynamic line. Look at this line, for example. This is uh, one thing that you can stylize more when you have a smaller car than the EV9. The EV9 is supposed to be more stately. And you can clearly see that it doesn't have the same dynamic uh, movement in this piece. Here it goes up and then continues. It doesn't go back down. And it also has this little upward 
angle to it while well, here it's static it's horizontal and uh, parallel or, or uh, symmetrical on on both sides so if we put a center line here this side looks exactly like this side creating a very static movement which is fitting for a bigger SUV like this but you want to have more uh, dynamic feeling in smaller SUVs and I think they did that a little bit at least in the EV5 very interesting design of the uh, plastic cladding that goes around here we have a dip here and then he goes back up on the other side and then dips into the black bumper in the rear these wheels same as uh with the ev9 not a huge fan uh those will probably be the first thing to go if i were to buying this car i don't think i will be buying the ev5 uh, when it for when it comes out even though they say as i said this is a concept this is essentially exactly what the production version is going to look like the reason i would not buy this car is because it's it's um going too too far into consumer electronics and it feels like I'm just buying a, a piece of electronics and I'm not buying a car that I'm emotionally connected with in any way it doesn't give me that vibe the Kia EV9 even though the design is clean it doesn't have any emotion but here you can see I think this is the best view where you can see where the, the Volvo reference they, these taillights feel like Volvo and this chamfer specifically going right here this is very very Volvo-ish or Polestar and then going into the shoulder line here looks pretty cool I mean it looks clean in the rear I like the rear a lot better than I like the front I think the rear has more personality to it comparing it to the front end very chiseled in the lower part as well similar styling as I said it looks like a mini uh, EV9 and I think that's a good thing because that means that Kia has uh, some uh, strong brand identity still going in their new design philosophy that we're seeing here what I think they're doing cool uh, cool stuff with the taillights are that they have uh, the, the same kind of thickness except for in the corners so in each corner you can see that the let's make this green so you can see it that the thickness or the uh, the the um, design of the led itself changes every time it hits a corner and i think this is going to be something that we're gonna see in pretty much every single new kia moving forward we have that in the uh, ev9 as well as soon as it reaches the end points you can see that the it changes in uh, thickness it creates a, a sort of uh, it's not a very dynamic feeling to the to the graphics but it makes it a lot more interesting than if we were to have for example just uh, lines like this like similar to I think we had that in the Kia EV9 concept but I'm glad that they changed that for the production version this looks a lot better than having it like this where it's just a line that goes through the rear end without any sort of um, uh, change in the thickness of it now we have to talk about the interior because this is uh, something i think is uh, going downhill and it's going downhill very very fast my shower is more inspiring than this design that we have here this looks actually like a shower you have the or, or like the bathtub here there's nothing going on down here is still uh, the same kind of vibe that we have up here then you have a shelf for your soap and you have a uh, sort of rectangular steering wheel and on top of that we can implement a tv or a elongated ipad on the dash there is nothing for me when i when i'm driving this car there's nothing for me to be inspired by or there is nothing for me to admire in the interior or there's nothing for me to be offended by in the interior the interior is just a big void of any design and styling and i think we're moving into that direction unfortunately and i, th I i'm not a fan of the direction that we're going in when it comes to oversimplifying things and removing every sort of identity specifically in the interior but also when you look at these new faces they lack any sort of identity and they look very robotic and they don't feel like they have any sort of emotion at all and that's translated also into the interiors i do like what the ev9 did in the production version better than they had in the concept obviously the ev9 concept had a similar uh feeling to the ev5 concept out here very 
sterile and cold and uh, robotic like we have in the front face as well. Here it feels a little bit more homey, but I would prefer that they continued this uh, door uh, panel into the dash and have some sort of nice flow between the door and the uh, dashboard. They did this intentionally on the EV9 to create more space in the interior and have it feel less claustrophobic. But at the same time, I prefer to have a nice line flow in the interior wrapping around the whole thing and creating some more um, beautiful lines to look at. So that's the EV5 and that's my thoughts on it. As I said, if you want to know what the production version is going to look like, you can just look at the concept because maybe they're going to add some uh, headlights in here and call it a production version. That's pretty much all the changes you're going to have to do to this.